So for this week's tip of the week, I thought I'd talk a little bit about wall installations, having your jobs done properly, accurately, and obviously keeping safety in mind. Starting on the base here, we obviously had quite a bit of elevation and site work to be done. We had to dig out a couple hundred yards of materials. Laser rod coming in real handy, built on the zero zero system with the internal foot. We're able to easily set our elevation. We had a benchmark on this site. We're able to figure out our benchmark. Now with our step ups and step downs in our base, we're able to do that real easy with the zero system as our block is eight inches. So we're just going eight, 16, 24, as far as our step ups or step downs. So step one, obviously taking that precaution, getting the proper base in. Like I said, a couple hundred yards had to be moved off this site. You can see behind me, proper equipment we got a larger excavator in here for being able to bail out a large amount of that soil getting down to the base where we need to be grid was on the base course so obviously you got a lot of soils to move tight area all the soil has to be removed on either side of this site because the buildings here in the middle so tremendous amount of um, labor getting put in a little bit of thought and coordination getting put into having our our prep areas and our stocking areas for our product thought i'd talk a little bit about safety obviously got a lot of equipment here hence the hard hat safety glasses um safety vests something brand new this year that we took on with our company as you can see safety and quality being key for us in a company and service um proper equipment being used we have a brand new mechalac back there really handy product handy tool we're getting into these unique positions here obviously we're tracking back and forth a lot here parking lot down below neighbor's property got to be super careful there and a lot of this product like i said in and out on a lot of this material so proper machinery proper equipment and you can see obviously the tools that we're using also you got to make sure that we're using the proper tools 104 pound retaining wall block it's key that we're using the proper equipment for lifting these we got our single block clamp for moving our blocks onto our wall and onto our grid. We use that for our base and on top of our grid layer. And obviously we have our larger block clamp, our BL450. That'll grab two units just the way they come on a pallet. You're speeding up efficiencies quite a bit by using those products. Again, this is not a, this is not a retaining wall you wanna be hauling by hand. It's six feet high. You get to those higher elevations or even the lower elevations, you have a lot of back sprain. So use the proper tools, proper equipment. You see also the proper compaction equipment. This is gonna be holding up a, a drive-through for a uh, fast food chain. So it's crucial that we get this compacted properly. You see the uh, light equipment being used near the wall. Again, NCMA, we're not gonna to wanna to get any heavy equipment up against the wall within three feet. Therefore, we're using a lighter compactor up against the wall, our CF3. And on this outside, we brought in our Bomag roller, which obviously has tremendous amount of compaction force, but then also using our um, Weber CR7 with the comp control, the lights that light up, tremendous product there to make sure and give you that uh, assurance that you are getting your base the proper compaction amount. So pretty exciting project, and we'll have to keep you up to date on this one. But again, a lot of product being installed in short time and properly with the right tools.